Deep learning falls within machine learning and machine learning is a component of artificial intelligence. The interconnectedness of these concepts can be linked to the concentric circles where artificial intelligence encompasses the broadest scope followed by the machine learning and finally the deep learning. While these terms are commonly used interchangeably, they hold distinct meaning beyond merge buzzword associated with futuristic technologies like self-driving cars. For those not immersed in the world of data science, the term artificial intelligence, machine learning and deep learning may sound elusive. The video aims to demystify the relationship between machine learning and deep learning, shedding light on their unique characteristics and dispelling any confusion surrounding their usage. Hello guys, I am Mayank and in this video we will explore the intricacies of these technologies and kickstart your journey into understanding of fascinating world of AI. Just a quick info for you, before moving on what machine learning is, if you want to switch careers with AI and ML by learning from the expert, then try giving Simply Learn's postgraduate program in AI and machine learning from Purdue University in collaboration with IBM. This AI and ML course was delivered in collaboration with Purdue University and IBM. Learn in-demand skills such as machine learning, deep learning, NLP, computer vision, reinforcement learning, generative AI, prompt engineering, chat GPT and many more. The link in the description box should navigate to the home page where you can find a complete overview of the program being offered. So take action, upskill and get ahead. So without any further ado, let's get started. So what is machine learning? These days we usually ask Siri, hey Siri, how far is the nearest fuel station? Whenever we ask something to Siri, the powerful speech recognition system gets into work and converts the audio into its textual form. This is sent to the Apple servers in the further processing and then machine learning algorithms are run to understand the user intent and then finally Siri tells you the answer. Well, this is happening because of this machine learning. Machine learning is a subpart of artificial intelligence, the art of making computers to learn and act like humans by feeding data and making prediction based on the experience. As you saw in the previous example, when the data comes in machine learning, immediately start analyzing the data and eventually gets trained on it and learns it. When new data points come in, machines accurately make prediction and decision based on the past data. Now that we have understand what machine learning is, let's move forward and discuss different types of machine learning and algorithms 2024. So types of machine learning. Machine learning is classified into supervised learning, unsupervised learning, and reinforcement learning. So now let's see some major machine learning algorithms for 2024. So there are two sort of problems in supervised learning. The first one is classification and regression. So certain types of machine learning algorithm falls under the classification R. The first one is decision algorithm, KNN algorithm, logistic algorithm, nave based algorithm, support vector machine, SVM. And in regression types of machine learning algorithms are the first one is linear regression, the second one is regression trees, nonlinear regression, Bayesian linear regression. So moving forward, so there are two sorts of problems in unsupervised learning. The first one is clustering and the second one is association. So in clustering, there are different types of machine learning algorithms like first one is k-means clustering algorithm, the second one is principal component analysis algorithm and the types of machine learning algorithms that fall under association problems are the first one is a priori algorithm, the second one is FP growth algorithm. So the last reinforcement learning. In reinforcement learning there are two types, positive reinforcement, the negative one. So reinforcement learning are mainly used in AI application and gaming application. The main use are Q learning, state action reward, state action, SAR, SA. And in negative one, the deep Q neural network and the markup decision process. So moving forward, let's discuss what is deep learning. So deep learning is a subfield of machine learning that deals with algorithm inspired by the structure and the function of the brain and which is part of artificial intelligence. Deep learning is widely used to make weather predictions about rain, earthquakes and the tsunamis. It helps in taking necessary precautions. With deep learning machines can comprehend speech and provide the required output. It enables the machine to recognize people and object in the images to fed to it. Deep learning also helps advertisers leverage data to perform real-time biding and targeted display advertising. So now moving forward, let's discuss type of neural network in 2024. 
The first one is feed forward neural network. This is the simplest form of ANN, artificial neural network. Data travels only in one direction, input to output. The second one is radial basis function neural network. This model classifies the data point based on the distance from a center point. If you don't have training data, for example, you will want to group things and create a center point. The network looks for data points that are similar to each other and groups them. One of the applications for this is power restoration system. The third one is coherent self-organized neural network. So in this, vectors of random input are input to a discrete map comprised of neurons. Vectors are also called dimensions of planes. Applications include using it to recognize patterns in data like medical analysis. The fourth one is RNN, recurrent neural network. In this type, the hidden layer saves its output to be used for future prediction. The output become part of its new input application include text to speech conversion. The fifth one is CNN, convolutional neural network. In this type, the input features are taken in batches as if they pass through a filter. This allows the network to remember an image in parts. So application include signal and image processing such as facial recognition. The sixth one is modular neural network. This is composed of collection of different neural networks working together to get output. So this is cutting edge and is still in the research phase. So moving forward, we will discuss some key differences between machine learning and deep learning. The first one is human intervention. In contrast to traditional machine learning where humans manually code features, deep learning system autonomously learn features like edges and facial component in tasks such as facial recognition. This self-training process utilizing neural networks akin to the human brain eliminates the need for human intervention in decoding resulting in improved accuracy over time. The second one is hardware. Deep learning system demand more robust hardware due to the extensive data processing and complex mathematical calculation in their algorithm. Graphical processing unit GPUs are a specific type of hardware employed for deep learning, whereas simpler machine learning programs can operate on less powerful machines. The third one is time. Given the extensive data and numerous parameters involved, deep learning systems take a considerable amount of time to train. While machine learning may take seconds to hours, deep learning can span from hours to weeks. The fourth one is approach. While machine learning algorithm process data in parts and combine them for a result. Whereas deep learning systems tackle entire problem at once. For example, identifying objects in an image involves two steps with machine learning, object detection and the recognition. In contrast, a deep learning program after training provides both identified object and their location in the image in a single result. So the last one is application. Given the distinctions mentioned earlier, it's clear that machine learning and deep learning serve different purposes. Machine learning finds use in predictive program like email spam detection and evidence-based medical treatment plans. On the other hand, deep learning exemplified the application like Netflix, music streaming and the facial recognition is prominently featured in high profile domain such as self-driving cars. Here deep learning employs layered neural network for tasks like object recognition, traffic light identification and decision making. So moving forward, let's see some machine learning and deep learning future trends. So the future hold limitless. Possibilities for machine learning and deep learning expects increased use of robot, not just in manufacturing, but also in enhancing our daily lives. In healthcare, deep learning may enable early cancer prediction or detection, potentially saving lives. Financially, both machine learning and deep learning are positioned to aid companies and individuals in saving money making wiser investment and allocating resources efficiently. So these trends are just the starting point. Developers imagination are sparking innovation in numerous areas yet to be explored. So we have come to end of this video. If you have any question or doubt, you can comment down below. Our team of experts will reach out to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Stay safe and keep learning with Simply Learn. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.